dear kids and the viewers assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to you all how are you dear kids yes i think you are getting on well with your parents and your near and dear ones at your own residence you know we are passing through a very crucial moment due to covid-19 to cope up with this predicament we are now going on with the online classes from borishal credit college it's nijamuddin ahmed associate professor of english and head of the department borishal credit college i would like to go on with your textual business taking a specific unit along with some specific lessons before going through the text i would like to refer you all to unit 7 the unit is entitled with the people who stand out the learning outcomes of this unit should be like this after we have studied this unit we will be able to listen to a text for a specific information we will be able to describe a person and lastly we will be able to read and understand text through silent reading ask and answer questions okay boys let's have a look on the entitled unit that is people who stand out on the screen you can find four photographs can you recognize all these dear kids yes now we would like to go on with one after another first of all here comes artist jainul abidin He was born in Kishorgans. He is a famous artist for his, especially for his paintings on Bengal famine of 1943. He helped to establish the Institute of Arts and Crafts, now Faculty of Fine Arts and University of Dhaka. He is called Shilpa Charjo. The meaning of the term Shilpa Charjo. is great teacher of the arts he was involved in bengali language movement of east pakistan and more significantly abidin was involved in the bangladeshi liberation war movement as well but he at his later life he developed lung cancer and died on 28 may of 1976 in dhaka his last work two faces that was completed shortly before his death he was buried beside the dhaka university central mosque as i have mentioned earlier he was famous for his paintings on bengal famine of 1943 so i would like to share some paintings on that bengal famine of 1943 you can see the paintings the renowned paintings for which he became famous all over the world you see the remarkable paintings like this okay then next comes parthoputim mazumdar can you recognize him he was born in pabna and uh, he is called the pioneer of mime artist what is mime art do you know yes mime art is to produce such an art by which the audience can take a message through the gesture and posture from the artist he utters no sound but through his gesture 
he is transferring some message to the specific audience or the beholders. Actually, Pathupati Mojumdar, his family is a very renowned family. He is the elder brother of Bappa Mojumdar. Do you know Bappa, who is Bappa Mojumdar? Obviously, he is a renowned singer of Bangladesh and his father was also a very renowned personality, namely Barin Mojumdar. He was a Bangladeshi classical musician and educationalist and uh, for his outstanding performance, his father Barin Mozumdar was awarded a Kushepado. Again, Pathupati Mozumdar, he was also awarded by the, the extraordinary award that is Ekushepado. You know, Ekushepado is called the highest civilian award of Bangladesh. You can see some other pictures of Parthapati Majumdar and through this picture we can understand his mime art. Okay, that is his real picture you see. Now comes another uh, important personality that is Paul Jobs. Do you know why is he famous for? Yes, let's have a look on Paul Jobs. He was born in San Francisco of California. He was the chairman and chief executive officer of Apple company. He was also the co-founder of Apple company, Apple Incorporate company. And he was the member of the Walt Disney companies board of directors and most significantly he is called the pioneer of personal computer revolution of the 1970s and 1980s he had a great contribution in introducing iMac iTunes Apple Store iPod iPhone App Store and the iPad Now, here comes the main focal point of our today's discussion, Mother Teresa, about which we will have a text from our textbook. Who is Mother Teresa? Yes, Mother Teresa was a Roman, uh, Roman Catholic nun who devoted her life to serving the poor and destitute around the world. She was born in 1910 in Skops, the capital of Republic of Macedonia of Albania. But little is known about her early life. From his early childhood, she felt a calling to be a nun and serve the poor. At the age of 18, she was given permission to join a group of nuns in Ireland. After a few months of training with the sisters of Laredo, she was then given permission to travel to India. In India, she began to work as a teacher. The why, but unexpectedly the widespread poverty of Calcutta made a deep impression on her and from that content she established a charity house namely the missionaries of charity why was it established by her the primary objectives of this mission was to look after people who nobody else was prepared to look after. For her outstanding performance in humanitarian ground, she was awarded the Nobel Prize, Nobel Peace Prize, and became a symbol of charitable and selfless work. This 
great humanitarian personality died at her 87 years and buried in Kolkata at the very home where she passed long 47 years. So you see the picture of other nuns, the follower of Mother Teresa. And that is the own residence of Mother Teresa from her parents. From the very picture, you can assume that her family, she comes of a rich family, aristocratic family, but she discarded that aristocratic life. She devoted herself to the service of mankind to help the poor and destitute ones. Okay. So, Mother Teresa is called a blessed Mother Teresa as a great humanitarian. So, there goes a famous quote by Teresa. It's not how much we do, but how much love we put in the dream. It's not how much we give, but how much love we put in the giving. So it's a very famous quote done by Teresa. Another quote goes here. Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. So as a whole, there goes a biography of Mother Teresa of which I most of it I have already delineated through a, of my discussion. So here I would like to refer you to the text lesson four, five and six. The beginning lesson four, the missionary lesson five and last of all, love for humanity. So uh, in a single delivery, all these text may not be covered. So I have taken a few lines from Love for Humanity. So I would like to request you, the cadets, to go on with the text. Starting from the uh, first line, it was autumn, August, like this. So I would not like to go through the text. You should go on with your own reading from your textbook. I think you have already gone through the text. Now, I would like to invite you to get acquainted with some vocabulary. Throughout the text, there are some words that are marked by red color. Why is it done? Yes, to get acquainted with the new vocabulary. The probable vocabulary may be like this. So here all the vocabulary, vocabularies go in a single place, but now I would like to go one after another. Missionary or missionary, a person who has been sent to a foreign country to teach their religion to the people who live there. Okay, that is uh, here. Or to preach religion or to preach some other views or notion, this missionary plays a very significant role in different countries in different shapes. Go to make a determined decision or promise to do something, or uh, that is in a word we may call. A serious promise or for whenever someone takes a firm de determination, whenever someone is resolute to do something, then we may term it as a vow. Here the word found, actually found may be used as the past form of find, but in a different aspect, this very word found may also be used as, a, as in present form and it, its meaning appears to be to establish something, to set something, or to build something, right? Then the destitutes, that means those, the people, those who are 
without money, food, or home, or any sort of position, they are leading their miserable life. Okay, the divine that means uh, here the heavenly that comes from heaven, related to heaven that is to mean this thing we use the term divine that is the divine order or divine call like this to survive that means to uh, live or to exist that means uh, we are trying to survive ourselves from uh, pandemic corona like this okay the commitment that means to willing to give your time or energy or your uh, strength to establish something or to retain with some specific job. Willing, as I have mentioned earlier, that means uh, here, uh, whenever someone is uh, very much open arm to do something without any sort of hesitation or diffidence, and he is happy to do something whenever he is asked for to do that thing. Recognize, that is to know something, or to experience something and here the, if someone or something is recognized it's generally accepted that uh, they have a particular position or quality right so another important uh, term uh, it is, it's used throughout your text that is compassion that means uh, the strong feeling of sympathy and uh, especially love for love for uh, somebody, love for a group, or love for country, with uh, intense feelings. To mean this thing, we use this term compassion. Irrespective, that means uh, considering no creed, caste, and color, indiscriminately, everything seems to be identical. Everything seems to be same to him to mean this thing we use the word irrespective the drape that means uh, cloth that is on loosely over uh, another dress okay to mean this thing we use drape uh, whenever we have uh, come across the picture of mother teresa we followed that uh, she, uh, she she has owned a drape that is loose, loosely garment she has uh, on, and this garment may be termed as drape. Okay? The wrinkle, a small line in the skin caused by old age, especially the old old age persons may have some wrinkle on her face, on her countenance, on her forehead, and so on. Okay, so all these about our vocabularies. Now let's have a look on some multiple choice question. Okay, so here, uh, what does mother of humanity mean? A good mother, a kind mother who has many children, a mother who likes humans, a mother figure who serves the poor like her own children. So what might be the right answer? Obviously, a mother a mother figure who serves the poor like her own children. The next multiple choice question you see, why did Mother Teresa want to be a missionary? Because she heard, because what, so what should be, uh, go through the, all these alternatives, credits, then uh, mark what should be the right answer? Yes, the right answer should be because she heard a voice within herself. That means in another, in another word, she felt a calling within herself, okay? That we came across throughout uh, our reading from the text as well. Mother Teresa set out to join the missionary of Sisters of Loretto in the year of, what might be the answer? Yes, the answer may be 1928. Yes, you see. The next is the Mother Teresa took her first vows at the age of, what should be the answer? Yes, at the age of 21. Yes, 21. Then another 
activity taken from your textbook dear boys you know all these activities have been taken from your textbook very textbook so yeah, after having finished your class here please take your book don't leave your textbook and go to your uh, exercises again that very exercise will be available with your text as well so please have a revision from with your textbook again so fill in the gaps you know uh, it will uh, fill up the blanks with the appropriate words so one after another i'm sharing the answer and uh, having done your class please match whether the filling up the gaps are consistent or not okay boys so first of all here comes the word pro then training partner gather okay but should i go through the text uh, to prepare herself to work with the poor mother teresa took an intensive medical training with the american medical missionary sisters in patna india her first course of action in kolkata was to gather children from the slums and start to teach them financial support and volunteers came forward to give a hand to mother teresa in her work for uh, humanity in 1950 her group now called the missionary of charity received official status as a religious community members took traditional vows of uh, poverty chastity and obedience but they added a fourth vow to give free service to the most poor the missionaries of charities received significant public publicity and mother teresa used to benefit her work in 1957 they began to work with lepers those sufferings from leprosy which is travel infectious disease gradually from one school they expanded to nine elementary schools in kolkata they also opened a home for orphans and abandoned children. Soon they were in more than 22 Indian cities. Mother Teresa also visited other countries such as Sri Lanka, Australia, Tanzania, Venezuela, and Italy to begin new foundations. Mother Teresa's group continued to expand throughout the 1970s they opened new missions in place such as american jordan england and new york by 1979 mother teresa's group had more than 100 different operations in over 25 countries around the world with dozens more volunteers to follow okay so all these are answers here uh, for filling up the gaps i have shared the answer so please uh, you should try with your own from taking from your textbook okay now true or false the statements here having go, uh, gone through the statements you will uh, determine whether the statement is true or false if the statement is false please try to reproduce the correct one right so all uh, all the statements here all through you can see so let's go one after another first of all mother teresa was moved to see the diseases that spread in the street of kolkata is it true or false of course it's a false statement so what should be the right answer Yes, Mother Teresa was moved to see the sick and dying people on the street. Okay. The next one, she opened a home for the orphans. Is it true or false? Obviously, it's a false statement. The right statement is she opened a home for the dying destitutes. Okay. She and her group brought in the dying people from the street of Kolkata. Is it true or false? Obviously, it's a true statement, you see. Okay, the next one. Nirmal Ridoy was founded 
so that the poor people who are dying can get love and care before death. So undoubtedly the statement remains true. Yes, we see the answer is true. The next one, Mother Teresa said that humanity passes through charitable organization. Dear cadets, can you recognize whether it's true or false? Yes, it's a false statement, okay? The true statement should be Mother Teresa said that humanity passes through the family. As we know, charity begins at home, okay? We have learned how to come forward to help only those who belong to a special caste. So that is, that's the last st st statement. So is it true or false? Yes, it again remains as a false statement. The right statement should be, we have learned how to come forward to help people irrespective of creed, caste and religion. So all these are, uh, true false statement that we have already finished. Now, the last activity for taking from your textbook. So, answer the question. First of all, what do you think Mother Teresa owns so many awards? Mother Teresa owns so many awards for her outstanding performance in the field of humanitarian ground. Okay? Especially for her love for humanity. Why does Nirmal Rida stand for? Yes, Nirmal Rida stands for the pure heart. Okay, Nirmal means uh, pure and Rida, it's in Bengali word. So the Nirmal Rida stands for pure heart. Okay. Why do you think the home is named Nirmal Rida? Because Nirmal Ridai or pure heart denotes to the heart that is pure and can accept everyone. So here there's a consistency between naming Nirmal Ridai or pure heart with his charitable organization. Because here Mother Teresa's Nirmal Ridai, people irrespective of priest, kala and religion get love and care. There goes no discrimination. That's why its name is Nirmal Vida, you know. Why did Mother Teresa want the dying people to feel that they deserve care and love too? Because Mother Teresa wanted the dying people to feel that they deserve care and love too. Because she believed that they were also the children of God. Because she thought, Mother Teresa thought, they have also the same right having love and care as the higher class people enjoy in the society as well. What are things that we have learned from Mother Tessa? That is the last question and the last exercise that we are going, we are up gradually up, uh, approaching towards the end of our delivery today. Okay. So what may be the lesson that we have learned from uh, the text relating to Mother Teresa. Okay, a good number of things we have gathered from this lesson. Number one, the love of humanity. As I have mentioned earlier, Mother Teresa is called the blessed mother and she is a great humanitarian all over the world. She has taught us how to serve the destitute, how to extend the hand to the needy. And uh, as a whole, she has taught us to have the tendency to work without any interest for the greater sake of humanity. Okay. So all this, this is about the answering the question from the text. Now I am giving you a prep a home task for you. Please do this home task and if in the following session you will submit it to me and I will evaluate your home task. Okay. So it's also taken from your textbook as well. Read the text again and complete the chart given below. The text that I have shown before you. So go through the text having gone through your text, you will 
make the chart. That means you will uh, uh, mention some dates along with some events. The dates and events should be consistent to each other. Okay, boys, that's all from my side today. Thank you for your patient hearing and being. I think uh, you will feel ease having the home task and uh, you have uh, now you have your own turn to go on with the subsequent action with your textbook okay thank you once again allah office